horrendously out of key. Yee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I think I have an idea of where the dungeon map is. I looked through the footage and I recall, remember back at the room where we met with Princess Rudo? Way, 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 way back at the, well, not back, way up at the top of that room? No, not there. But that, uh, barred off door at the top of the room, I don't ever remember coming through there again. Like, once I went through there and, uh, like I never came through here through like a reverse path or something like that, if that makes any sense. So that means I must be missing something in that room. Well, maybe. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna come here and check out for the heck of it, and I hopefully will plop myself... No, I got stuck on the ceiling a little bit there. There we go. Link's head is like a hook, apparently. Oh, okay. Now, this room... Ah, so there's torches in here. Very interesting. Will this work? Yes, it did. Now, what's in here? Maybe a skull tula? Maybe the map? I don't know. What do we have in here? So, oh, boy. <laughs> Oops, I forgot to put up my shield. It's three staffles. Eh. Aww. You make me sad. Eh. Come on, make yourself vulnerable more often. I don't have all the time in the world to be dealing with you guys. I've seen like 50 of you by now. <laughs> See, it's so weird. The other ones could attack you. But they don't, they're just kind of like hanging out there, they're just like watching the battle. <laughs> I I don't understand that in the slightest, but whatever. Come on, do your thing. Come on, keep attacking me. I can only hit you once you make yourself vulnerable. <laughs> and you have to do it on a, on a fa very regular baseless, basis. Not baseless. Come on. You. Slash me, there we go. <laughs> I'm getting a tad tired of t facing off against Staffles, I have to say. <laughs> I mean, there's been so many of them. Oh, uh, same goes with uh, Lizafos as well. I've seen a lot of them throughout this walkthrough. Well, throughout the game, I should say, not the walkthrough. The walkthrough is just sort of a part of the video. The game is, you know, the game. <laughs> Alright, what's this do? That opens that door, which I don't trust that there's nothing in here because I see this thing right here. Ah! <laughs> I thought as much. So that is the place of the dungeon map, but there's still, I believe, one more skull to lot to find. Because I know there's that one behind the uh, fire arrow place on the bottom floor. There's the dungeon map. Now, what have we visited and what haven't we visited? That is the question. Um... I must be missing a skull to law like on one of the areas. And I noticed that there's a little graphical glitch. Look at that at the bottom of the border of the around the water temple map. See that little bit of blue that keeps flashing in? Weird. <laughs> okay, so I must have missed a skull to law. Unless I got um, all of them except for the one, but I could have swore there was five in this temple, and I thought I only got three. Anyway, I'm going to go over to the boss now, I suppose. So I'm going to cut back, getting back over to the third floor of the main area. Okay, now you may be asking yourself, Oh, Pikagam, why did you raise the water level to level 3? Have you gone loco? Well, no. See, there's this thing right here. This thing floats with the water level. When it's not at its highest, this thing won't be sticking up and you won't be able to hookshot your way over here. So that's why. By the way, I've still got one key and apparently I visited every other room in this dungeon. So unless the key is used in this room, which I don't believe it will be because this, is, this leads to the boss room, I think I have some sort of extra key or something like that, which makes absolutely no sense. By the way, there's a switch over here. I don't know why the heck that's there. Um... Oh, hookshot targets. <laughs> I'm used to, like, walking up here normally. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna see... <laughs> it just disappeared. I'd like to see if those things on the wall behind me have anything of interest. Yeah, those two things right there. Like, uh, if I were to shoot them... Yeah, there's a potion. That is something that I could use, I think. What about this one? A fairy. 
Come on, come out of the wall. Stop trolling me, fairies! Yes! <laughs> okay, um, if you were to walk up this place normally, uh, you would get knocked down. What? That was a direct hit! Anyway, you would get knocked down by those blade traps. Uh, normally, they are... Oh, come on. They are, like, just slow enough that you can run up the slope, but as you can see, yeah. <laughs> and whenever you get a hit or you, or you, I should say, you take a hit and then you stop moving, you immediately slide down. It's like a very slippery slope. In the original game, you actually had to hoof it up there with slower blade traps, but in this one, nope, not the case. This room is made a whole lot easier, just like the rest of the temple in general. Anyway, wait, wait, more near any Skultulas? Just for the heck of it, let's shoot this thing, this whatever portrait. No, okay, I just wanted to be sure. Anyway, to the boss, I'll be back in here after I get the fire arrows anyway, so I'm gonna have to take a round trip through this place. Link, look out. That is the normal water over there. Oh good, I should take a swim then. Ah, oh. <laughs> actually you're just supposed to climb onto the middle here. It's a fish! This is the fish's point of view. Hmm, it appears to me more than a fish. It's a horrendous tentacle raping monster known as Morpha. This is the kind of boss that you have to be very patient with. But I've got three fairies, so I can pretty much be as reckless as I want with this thing. <laughs> Um, what you want to do is stand towards like a corner or something like that and wait for the tentacle to pop out of the water and then run a good distance away. It'll try stretching towards you. Now what you want to do is lock onto the core as it's coming out of the water there and try and pull it towards you. There we go. And then hit with your sword. You can actually trap that thing in a corner and get really cheap shots and get a really quick win off this thing, but I'm not going to play that way. Anyway, if you watch the core, you'll notice that it'll form a tentacle wherever the core is, so that's an easy way to tell where a tentacle is coming from. And do not, and I mean do not, get yourself hit by the tentacle. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. Oh, no, no, ow. <laughs> Because that tentacle, when it grabs onto you, it will do a load of damage to you. I think it does like three or four hearts of damage. It's right up there with an iron knuckle in terms of damage. Come on over. There you go. Good tentacle monster. Now I would like to grab your core with my long shot if I can. Please. Aww. So that's the thing about the... I don't like hitting enemies with the long shot. It's just so slow. I mean... A bunch of people told me back at the, uh, when I was at the Flare Dancer boss in the Fire Temple that I could just use the hook shot to hit him, but I, I just don't typically like to try the hook shot because it's so ridiculously slow. Come on, grab, <laughs> freaking, there we go. And unfortunately, you can only get one hit on that thing unless you, like, trap it in a corner, like I said before, and use your shield to block it from moving back to the center. You can continuously pull it towards you by just hookshotting it over and over. Again, and now there's two tentacles. That changes as it goes throughout the battle, as you can see, so... But they always seem to appear pretty close together, so you don't have to worry about them all too much. And also, it goes without saying, there's spikes around the edge of the room, so... You should probably not touch those as well. <laughs> Just looking for the double tentacle attack. There's one there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, they got, they got kind of mixed up in front of each other there, and I got them confused. There we go. Taste my cold steel. Mm. And yeah, as I said, very, very patient boss. Gotta be very patient. If you're not patient, you are going to lose horrendously. Always take an opportunity if you're given it. If not, just hold back and wait until you get another one a little bit later. See, like, I'm probably not going to be able to get the core this round, so I'm going to have to wait till another time. But that's all right. Just watch the core, pay attention to where it is, and oh boy, oh boy, I seen that. That was sneaky. You sneaky snake. Well, it's more like a tentacle, a monster of sorts. It, in fact, that the boss is the water. <laughs> That's why uh, Navi there said that that water is not any uh, ordinary kind of water there. 
And good, very good. I almost took a hit there from the tentacle, but I it turned out pretty good there. They're becoming a little bit more aggressive as we're going, as you can see here. See, now it's like alternating tentacles as, as it's going along. Uh, so I gotta be a little bit more quick, a little bit more cautious, maybe. Come on. Ah, come on. Oh, no! <laughs> I got a little bit too close there. That was my fault. And there's no way to break free from this. Now watch as your life goes down. Or I should say, my life. And that did a whole lot less damage than I remember it does. Huh. I recall that just practically raping you. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I thought it did a lot more than that, but maybe this boss is less threatening than I thought it was, or maybe they made the boss easier in Master Quest. I mean, they made the dungeon easier, so why not the boss? Eh. I don't think I'm going to get this one. Oh my god, I got it! Because <laughs> he was going horizontally, and normally uh, when I want to hit this boss, it's lashing off vertically towards me, I should say towards me in general, so that's the best way to hit it is because you have a highest chance of, you know, hitting it with your hook shot in a straight line than it going left and right. Oh no 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 no. Oh no. Oh oh oh. Good. Very good. And you'll notice that once you pull out the core of Morpha there, it will actually retract its tentacle without you having to worry about it. So once you pull it out, uh, you can safely go after it without any trouble whatsoever. Come on. Now this other tentacle is going to be coming towards... Oh boy! That was a little too close for comfort. Oh, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Ow, ow. Yeah! That went incredibly smoothly. For once, a boss went smoothly. <laughs> You'll notice the water is draining out of the place because it wasn't exactly water. Though it is sort of a water boss, but... The water itself is the boss, if you kind of get, you get the idea. <laughs> You've seen the boss, you know what it looks like. Trip. And now grab your heart piece and get out of here. We can get our lovely chocolate coin. Woohoo! We are now up to 17 hearts. Sweet! Pretty, so beautiful, crystally goodness. And so we have returned here once again to meet up with the Sage the Temple. You guessed it, it's the completely naked and now fully mature Princess Rudo. This game is not kid-friendly in the slightest, I swear. I've never played a kid-friendly game on this channel, I swear. <sighs> what? No! T you can take it back! I'm not gonna sell it on eBay. I, I want to be a single bachelor. I'm not ready to tie the knot yet. Oh my god, please don't. No. No. Oh, thank god. <sighs> I'm getting... A little flustered now. <laughs> yes, I am. Can you read my mind? <laughs> Good. I mean, she should be. I mean, she's kind of like the main character of The Legend of Zelda. Because, you know, the games are kind of like named after her. And so we are gifted yet another delicious chocolate coin. The Water Medallion. If you see Shik, please give him my thanks, okay? Sure, no problem. Now, I think we we are going to be, yeah, outside Lake Hylia now. We're going to watch it fill right back up. Apparently, Morpha was the thing that drained out the water. I <laughs> Maybe it, it required so much water to form its body that it drained out the lake. Hey, Shik, how's it going?
Did Ruto want to thank me? Yes, how did you know? <laughs> oh yeah. We gotta save the world and become a multi-millionaire by selling all of our treasures on eBay. Uh, sh she didn't help me destroy the evil monster. I, I didn't see her in that battle at all. <laughs> Maybe she was with me in spirit. <laughs> Don't you dare, ninja! Ah! I seen it coming from a mile away. You... Sneaky snake. What? How'd you get up there? How? Wow. She is a quick one. <laughs> now we're going to get ourselves some fire arrows before we go back inside the temple. What you want to do here is see where the sun is in the sky. That's about the ideal spot, actually. Get out your bow and arrow here. Well, it's called a fairy bow, but yeah. And aim up towards the sun and shoot an arrow towards it. Oh, 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 would you look at that? It's the fire arrows! Okay, that was way too much excitement. <laughs> Now we can go swim over to there. Uh, I believe if the water wasn't up, you would be able to hookshot up here, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong though. What is Navi so excited about over there? Is she indicating like another one of those... No, 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 not that. <laughs> I'm guessing it's one of those um, great larger fairy thingies, or maybe... It's actually Pierre. Best song in the world. <laughs> oh, it was Pierre. Yay! Anyway, let's grab the fire arrows. Happy days! And I'm gonna need some magic power before I go in there, won't I? Because I have to light some torches, so what I'm gonna do is go grind for some magic power at the grass over on the land over there, and then I'll meet you back in the room back at the water temple and see if I can get uh, those three torches lit up with my fire arrows. Alright, this room, and for some reason Pierre is still here. Anyway, now what you want to do is go to your inventory. This is how you select the fire arrows. All you have to do is go over to it and you'll automatically power up your bow. Just select it to a C button like you normally would. Now when you shoot an arrow, it will use a little bit of magic power. Now what you want to do is shoot all, shoot all the torches with it. Hopefully that'll work. Hopefully there's, there's no like super strict timer or something like that. Uh, uh, please. Yeah, there we go. And this will lead me to the skull tula. That was a weird camera angle. Anyway, where is that skull tula? Anyway, I don't see it in the room. Please don't be back. Ah, you're back. More. So many devils. Such a waste of time. <laughs> and it's not like you can leave them alone, you know, while exploring the room. They're just always on you if you don't kill them. <sighs> Pierre, out of the way. <laughs> e. Oh, I was a little too late there. I wonder if I could do my jump slashes, speed things up. Oh, well, that does work slightly if I time it just right. <laughs> Not like that, though. Okay, I'm just being impatient. As I said, you have to be patient with these guys to beat them. <laughs> what the heck was that? I was just like, uh, it's just like he's trying to psych me out or something like that. But I only react to whatever the heck he's doing anyway, so it's like, what's the point of trying to psych me out? Anyway, this is the first... Oh, okay, I was gonna say, that was the first time there wasn't something on the wall that I couldn't shoot. Okay... I bet you the Skull Tula is in one of these crates. Well, maybe. <laughs> no? How about on the ceiling or on the wall? Oh, 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 oh ceiling. <laughs> Hello, my scratchy buddy. Give me your mutt. Did you see that? 
You're kidding me, right? I gotta move a tad up to get the... What? What is this blasphemy? There we go. <laughs> I have never seen such a hard... I mean, I never had such a hard time getting a token that was in my line of sight. Anyway, one more skull to lot to get, I suppose. I, I, don't, I have no idea where the heck it is, but I gotta find it. <laughs> Or at least, let, wait, wait, actually. No, wait, I got them all! Yeah! I guess that was the last skull tool on the temple. That makes me very happy. So, you know what I'm gonna do? Warp out of here! <laughs> now I'm going to get out of the temple completely and the reason why I want to do this is because there is one skull to low that I'm gonna be getting up on top of here when it's nighttime I believe time is now not frozen so I should just be able to turn it nighttime like so and the skull to is on top of that tree that you just seen there at least I recall it being on top of that tree that tree with those claw marks there and what you want to do is climb up on top if you can. You gotta do this really precisely. Just get yourself- Oh! Poopers! <laughs> yeah, it's up there. See, the idea is to grab onto the ledge very carefully with your hook shot. Well, long shot, excuse me. It's been upgraded. And- uh, And obviously you can't do anything about that skull too off from the ground until you get yourself up on the thingy because it's just out of your sight oh what oh i think that works <laughs> so now i should be able to destroy you and take your remains and that's all i'm going to be doing in this part i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next part when i recover my health and find out what the heck i'm supposed to be doing next and by the way there is still that weird fish key floating in the water. It has no purpose, it just sits there for the rest of the game. Just I would say that. This was PK Gam, killing all of your tuna fish. Doo -doo -doo. Post update on this part. It only took four and a half parts to beat the water temple. Definitely making it easier to beat than the fire temple by a mile. Wow, anyway, what happened to that last mysterious key, that extra key? Well, that's just it. It's an extra key. There is no other locked doors in the dungeon besides the boss door, but that is, of course, opened by the boss key, so... It's indeed something that you don't need. Maybe the designers put that in there just to make sure that you would find a key to open that one door. You know, like they gave you two in two different places so you'd come across one to make the water temple easier. I don't know, but it's pretty weird that they would give an extra key. They did though, and sure enough, I got it and don't need it. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part.